Hello everybody, this is Amy with Whimsical Art. Today we're going to be doing a butterfly scene. We're going to be doing kind of a mixed media type thing with watercolors. So I am so glad that you all joined me. Um, if you have not checked out the lives that we do, they're in the featured section above at the top of the screen. Um, we do things all throughout the week if you need prayer. There's also a prayer banner listed at the top of the screen. You can check that out. Place your prayer request there. We have someone praying every single day of the week. And we would like to pray for you. We also have a newsletter. You can check that out at the top of the screen in the featured section. Also, we have um, different things coming. We have a retreat that you can join in on if you've not signed up for that. I encourage you to do so. If you can't come to the retreat, <clears throat> uh, buy a t-shirt. That helps support our ministry and what we stand for and um, the things that we need to be able to operate. Um, also check our website out. That's mustardsfwomensministries.net. We have a store there now. Um, Lisa Butler and her ladies are uh, our crafters in the group and they've done some beautiful work. They have their stuff for sale. So um, please go check that out and see what you'd like to purchase. It's um, all beautiful, all handmade, all special, done with their heart. Ideas and stuff that they've come up with and you would just absolutely fall in love with some of their journals and tags and those things. We are just really excited. <clears throat> We also um, got some challenges coming up at the end of the week, uh, end of the month, towards the end of the month. Um, and then we've got a swap that's fixing to happen, and that's going to be a scripture tag swap. And that will be located in the events section. And when we uh, post that, you'll see that, it, uh, that it's a swap. And you can join in on that and uh, sign up under that um, event. Um, I do ask that if you do not intend on participating in the event, which means you're not going to send the, um, the item that you're agreeing to send when you make the commitment and sign up, please don't sign up. It's just um, not fair to the other people who do sign up and do follow through with their swaps. I know that life can happen sometimes, but it's just not a good habit to make by doing so. So, but other than that, we would love to have you. So I'm not saying don't sign up for the swaps because like I said, I know things in, hap things in life happen, but should something of some sort of emergency happen and you've signed up some for the swap, you need to let somebody know. There's a coordinator over the swap. Her name is Donna Callaway. You would need to contact her and let her know if something should arise that you're not able to swap. So, those are just a few things <clears throat> that I like to announce when we're doing our lives. Uh, let me go ahead and pray before we get into our whimsical art, then I'll finish running my mouth again. Dear Heavenly Father, I just come to you right now, dear Lord, and I just open up this opportunity to invite you into our presence, dear Lord, as we paint and we enjoy you, dear Lord. I just ask that our art just turn out beautiful, dear Lord. Help it to be a replication of what um, is in our view in your world, dear Lord, just just help it to come to life, dear Lord, um, to remind us of the beauty that you have laid out for us, dear Lord. I ask that you help people to join in and to do this with me, dear Lord, and to enjoy it and to find the peace that's in it, dear God. I ask that you be with each lady in this group. I ask that you bless them physically, financially, and help them to be healthy, healthy dear Lord. I ask you to bless them with a good night's sleep tonight, dear Lord. I ask that you just keep them safe. I ask that you be with their families, dear Lord, and keep them safe also, dear Lord. I just thank you for the presence that they, that you have in this ministry, dear Lord, and all the work that you're doing in it, dear God. 
I just ask that you send those who want to hear your word, who need to hear your word, who who are grasping that relationship with you, dear God. I just ask that you continue to send them to us, dear Lord, that they can hear your word and know that we're just ordinary people living ordinary lives, dear Lord, and that we're human and we want them to see that, you know, that we're just human. We make mistakes and we're walking this life just like they're walking this life, dear Lord, and that we're here to walk with them and walk through this with them as friends, dear Lord. And I just thank you for this. I praise you for this and I honor your presence. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm just getting me a few colors on my, um, what do you call it? Place you put your paint. <laughs> oh, I just went blank. Do you do that sometimes? I do all the time. It's not funny either. <laughs> well, it is in a way, I guess. Oh, so let's see. I got some different colors. I'm not sure I really like them. I was going to go really bright tonight. But it seems like every color I'm picking up is this dark, dull color. So I don't know how that's going to work. We're going to put that to a test and see here in a minute. I'm going to... <clears throat> put a few areas of um, of water on my uh, watercolor paper and see what we can come up with as far as blending and stuff. Um, our verse for tonight is going to be Ecclesiastes, and that verse is, let me find it here, Ecclesiastes 3.11, which says this, he has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity into man's heart, yet so that he cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. That's in the English Standard Version, and that's the night, that's the verse that we're going to be using. So, um, I am going to take some of my water, and I'm going to get me a pretty good bit of water on my page. I'm also going to spray some on top of my watercolor paint over here and kind of make it kind of ushy-gushy. Um, I'm going to need a little bit more than that because it's not quite doing what I want it to either. What's up? It must be my my watercolor paper. Maybe um the wrong count. Okay, I'm going to just kind of do like some circular motions here because my intentions are I kind of want to do these really large flowers. And I promise the next time we get on live, it's not going to be a flower. I know y'all probably get tired of flowers all the time. But it's one of my things that I love, absolutely love to do, is flowers. I find beauty in them. They're, they're very, I don't know, they're very unique and very, I mean, it's like God just takes his, his time and, and makes them delicate. And it's just, I don't know, I can't explain how I, what I see in in those. So I'm just mixing me some colors. You do your you do it the way you want to. I did put a little pink under the bottom, and I know you think this red is not really gonna go, but just hang with me because I make happy accidents sometimes, and sometimes I don't. All right. So we're just making like a little round circular flower, kind of like we did, what we did last week, except we made ours um, a little smaller last week. Um, and 
And so I'm gonna make me like some little round areas in the center of my flower. And let's see, we're just gonna keep playing around to see what we can do with this. Like I said, there's no, no must way. Just be free and let your creativity flow because that's what this is. That's what whimsical is all about. You really cannot mess up whimsical. Whimsical is this truly just blotches of paint on a piece of paper with really bright, beautiful colors. So don't get caught up into the perfection of something, uh, which is something I struggle with. I'm not going to kid you. I, um, I used to be really bad at thinking something had to be perfect. <clears throat> and it doesn't. That's not what this is about. So I encourage you to enjoy it and not get caught up in the, you know, in it being perfect because that's not, that's not what I want you to, to get out of this. I want you to get out of this the peace that it brings when you're painting. So we're going to just do some different things here. And like I said, you can do you. So I've seen some beautiful artwork displayed uh, in our group. So y'all share, please do anything you do because there's no comparison, no joy in, com in comparison. So do not compare your work to anyone else's. That's something I don't want anybody ever to do because your work is unique, your work is special, you are you, and it's something that you should be extremely proud of. So quit telling yourself that you cannot draw. I believe everyone has an ability to draw. Okay, like I said, I'm just playing around here. You make the type of flower you want to make. They can be big. They can be small. They can be dainty. Um, if there's a type of flower that you want to paint, paint it. I'm just making mine have different um, little uh, petals in it, if that's what that you're called. I think that's what they're called. I'm having brain lapse today, so you all will have to overlook me. And by the way, this is not planned. I did not even plan to do this today. I planned to do something totally different. So, I am just as interested in you as you are to see what I'm going to come up with here. There is no telling. Like I said, we're just going, going with the flow. We're going for it. Do your flowers <clears throat> any shape you want to do them. Now, I'm probably going to go back and kind of do some of the edges kind of smooth down like this. Kind of, you know, blending it in here and there. To get it to kind of look like I want it to look, more or less. Keeping these edges kind of crisp and
You know, it, his word says he created everything beautiful. And he did. So that means that you're beautiful. And it means that your art is beautiful. That's why I want y'all to get involved. You don't have to have fancy paper. You don't have to have watercolors. You, I mean, you can do this on anything using any kind of um, art supply that you have on hand. It does not have to be watercolor. It doesn't have to be acrylic. It doesn't have to be, it can be crayons. Anything you want it to be, or want to use, rather. You could use chalk, you can use watercolor, you can use crayons, um, pencils, colored pencils, colored markers. And I'm telling you, if you'll just delve off into this, you will even surprise yourself at how good you can draw. I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's that way. I'm telling you, it's that way. I really would, um, if you could make it to the retreat, y'all, I really would love to see you there. It's, it's an experience. Last year was such an experience. We did have some setbacks when we were trying to get there. Even the person that was singing had setbacks trying to get there. It was just, but when it came together, oh my goodness, the Holy Spirit just moved. You could ask anybody that came to the retreat last year uh, about that experience and it was just it was just breathtaking how god um moved so if you've not been a part of something like that i encourage you to um consider it uh, i know september's a ways away but if you even think you can come please contact nicole uh, smith and and let her know that um, you need more information on it. And she'll be glad to, to get you all the information that you need. Um, it's a beautiful area that we're going to be uh, staying in. It's called Adventurers at Rest. Um, we have uh, Amy Benham will be speaking. We have a... Um, lady uh, named Sandra Hancock, who will be speaking. Um, we have Blake Reynolds, who will be our praise and worship leader. And he is really good. Um, so I encourage you to come along and, and join in. And you can make so many friendships and grow and get to know us in this ministry and, and see us and and um, let us enjoy meeting you and putting a face with us other than just seeing us online. Uh, we would absolutely be so thrilled if we could meet you. Um, and like I said, uh, maybe next year we're going to try to have it on um have a retreat online so that there will be no traveling involved, but that you can still participate in things. You just won't travel to um, be involved. So I think that would be a fantastic way because some people just, they can't travel due to health reasons or they can't travel due to um, financial issues um, there's all sorts of reasons why people can't come because there's a lot of people that want to, I'm sure, that just, just can't 
either take off work or or there's something else going on in their life they can't make it and believe me if i could get everybody there i would because it's just that powerful the way god moves he's he's just an awesome god Okay, I am liking how this is turning out. If I'm not careful here, I will go over the time limit of my one hour. And I try not to go that long simply because I have to pre-record my lives instead of coming live and, and being able to chit-chat with you all. Um, and when I do that, if I go over about 20 minutes... Um, I cannot get my videos to load, which is what happened last week when I could not get the video to load for you all to be able to watch it on time, and it was posted the next day. So I apologize for that. That does happen sometimes, and I will in the future try not to. Um, I'll start posting it ahead of time where... Um, that does not occur again. I can't promise it won't ever happen again, but I'm going to do my best to keep it, to prevent it from happening because y'all are expecting it and I don't want to let anyone down. But on my end, please know that it's very frustrating because sometimes our equipment can be quite challenging, especially, <clears throat> excuse me, when you live in the country. Very challenging. I don't know how some of these people are able to do it and not have any issues. Of course, they may and just not say it, huh? Okay, I'm really liking how my flower's turning out. I like the ripples in it, that it's the effects that it's bringing. Um, there'll probably be some other areas that I touch up on, but they probably will not do it during the live here. So that will probably be off camera. But I like to do as much as I can on camera with you guys so that y'all can see. It's just not as hard as it looks. It's just kind of of a blue blob on the paper and you just work with it. With lines and circles and what have you. Okay, now my next little area over here, I think I'm going to try... Y'all know it, yellow, which is one of my other favorite colors. But this time I am going to try to just do the twirly art. Just the flower. No, I'm not liking this, so I'm probably going to do it just like I'm doing the other one there. Unless I want to make it look like a rose. I guess I could do that. Let me put some spray on my paint here. Yeah, let's kind of do this. I like this right here. So, and I've asked y'all several times to give me some ideas of some things that you would like to see done in the group, not necessarily just in whimsical art, 
but I would love it if you would give some ideas because this group is all about you all. And we want to, to get you involved. And I know everybody can't be involved all day, every day, and we don't expect you to. But when you are involved, we want you to be able to get the best you can out of it. And mainly, we want you to get Jesus out of it. So if there's any ideas that you're interested in, maybe a Bible study um, or something to that effect, you know, let us know. Um, Beverly Powell is over our Bible studies. And um, so contact her. She's familiar with a lot of different Bible studies, and she can tell you if it's something that we can do in the group at any time. Um, and we would honestly love to hear your opinions. She's doing a, a, a study now that is just really, really good. If you've not seen it, I, I encourage you to watch it in the uh, event section. And if you're having trouble finding the event section, let me know. I believe I put a tutorial in, in the featured section. If not, I gotta shake this paint up. If not, I will try to get one going so that um you all will have a tutorial to guide you in the areas that you need to go on the website so that you'll be able to find things such as albums and um those sort of things because it, it is aggravating when you see something and you can't find it. Now sometimes our videos are not posted. Or, or don't save when we do our events. Should that happen, please let us know because we have figured out a way to retrieve those back most of the time. So, you know, if you, if you see something that's not there and you want to watch it, and it has disappeared for some other reason. If we can work it where you can get it, we can get it back and up for you all to watch it, we'll be glad to do that. But the featured section that I'm talking about is just right up at the top of the page. That's where you see all the announcements, all the stuff that's going on in the group. That's where the newsletter is. That's where the um, <clears throat> information about the retreat is. Just uh, all that kind of good, good stuff. Okay, now, let's see. I wish I would have put like a background, but since I did not, we are going to do maybe a few just like circle things. And I may even turn some of those into flowers or, or what have you. Some of them is going to be, we're going to put some leaves and then we're going to add our butterflies in just a few moments. I'll show you how we're going to do that. And I know that I've been rambling a lot today in this video. So forgive me if I've rambled way too much. Okay, let's get some green. I'm going to just do some little leaves here. There's a, a painting that I want to do 
that is on the wooden bowls. Um, and I am finding out all that information now as to what paints we use and what have you. And so that may be a class that's coming up in the future. Um, if it is, I will let you know what that class consists of, what you need, and all that good stuff um, so that you can possibly join in if you would like. I like this color green. I think it goes great with this, this, uh, the yellow flower. Um, the side over here needs a little more of something. Let's see, we're gonna do something here in a minute and put something on this side over here. And then of course, we're gonna write our verse. We gotta put it on here. I'm gonna tell you, if you are out there and you have had a prayer request on the on the prayer uh, list for a while now and it feels like that God has not answered that prayer, what have you, I want to be of encouragement to you that God is working. He does hear our prayers and your prayer and just keep holding on because he will answer your prayer. I promise he will. He has uh, started answering some prayers in my life. Uh, some of them he has not answered yet, but I know that he is going to without a shadow of a doubt. And um, I just want to be encouraging to you. Find a friend. Have them talk with you and pray with you about the situation. And uh, don't try to battle it alone. Don't get in, in a place where you're alone because that is what Satan likes to do is get us isolated in an area where we're alone and then we can't uh, use the tools that God has given us to fight those battles. So, um, and it may be even something that you're dealing with that you can't overcome, that you're having problems overcoming. So, um, I encourage you not to get stuck in that area of where you're isolated and alone. I think we've all been there. I know that I have been there. And I have been there and thought there's just not anybody that cares, you know, that sort of thing. So I also want to let you know that we here at Mustard Seed Faith do care. Um, and we're here for you. Um, and we diligently pray. That is something that we all do. We don't just say we're praying. We pray. Uh, we take it to the throne of God, expecting miraculous things to happen. Um, because I've seen miraculous things happen. So, um, please know that we're here not just as people to watch on a live, but as people that are people, that are friends, and we want to connect with you. Um, so reach out if you need to and, and let us know if you, if you need something. Okay, let's see here. Let's do some, I think I'm gonna try a different color. I'm not really sure where I'm at on the filming, so I'm fixing to jump off of here. But before I do that, let's go ahead and do one of my stamps on here. And then we're going to um I am going to forget what I was gonna say. Um, it helps to have your acrylic block with you, too. I don't have mine with me. I don't know what I did with it. So, 
Anyways, we're going to try this without my acrylic block. But just get your um, stamp nice and coated with your ink. Because if you don't, and I watch me mess it up because I'm not good at getting my stamps completely covered sometimes. And it aggravates me. But I am going to try my best to make sure my stamp is completely covered. And then I am just going to stamp some butterflies on my page. And I'll just kind of show you what that looks like. And then I'm going to end this program or live don't like to call it a program but in this live and then voila some will make little butterflies different sizes all over the paper I'm going to finish a few of the um details that I want to finish on the page probably add a few more things so be creative y'all be creative uh do something and uh like I said um, you never know when a prize may pop up, so it may not always pop up, but you never know when it does. So get in, um, always tag your photos. When you do art with me, tag them, tag me in them, Amy McArdle, or either the best thing to do is to post it under the event, under the live that I'm, I'm doing in the event section. So, um, that would help out a whole lot. Um, so I'm going to finish all that up. I will be posting that later um, if it's not already posted by the time you see this live. And I will see you all next Monday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And until then, much love, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.